It's not easy for Earth's atmosphere to make red auroras. Even longtime Arctic photographers and tour guides rarely see them. Yet, on September 3rd, there they were. I was waiting for two CMEs that were supposed to hit Earth on September 2nd and 3rd, says photographer Catalin Taperdell of Alberta, Canada. They never showed up. Earth's magnetic field was still quiet when I saw a nice red band with pillars, he says. What's so tricky about red? The action takes place more than 150 kilometers above Earth's surface. At that high altitude, oxygen atoms excited by solar wind slowly spit out red photons. Emphasis on slowly. The radiative lifetime of the transition is 110 seconds an eternity at the quantum scale. The atoms must remain undisturbed that long to produce their red light. Quiet may be a key ingredient for these reluctant auroras. The hours following two missed CMEs might have been, ironically, the perfect time to see them.